Well, we weren't married to nine to five guys, but the first time I realized how different it was was when Mickey had a hostess party. Karen, where are you from? Lawrence. Oh, that's nice, Lawrence. I'm from Miami. You ever been there? No. It's okay, but it's like you died and then woke up in Jewish heaven. Angie, stop picking at that thing. The one with the hands, I'd like to smack his face. The red-haired guy, he looks like a farmer. I'm telling you, I can't get through the gate without this guy's hands all over me. So I tell him, I said, keep your fucking hands off of me, you son of a bitch, or I'll cut them off. <laughs> she means it. I mean, he don't know how lucky he is. I just mentioned this to Vinny. I don't even want to know what'll happen. How could you mention it? Vinny would kill him, please. You think you got problems? What about Janine's kid? He was in an argument, a lousy $10 card game. He takes out his gun, the gun goes off, some kid gets killed. When the grandmother hears it, she finds out he's in jail. She has a heart attack, drops dead, right on the spot. Now Janine's got a husband and son in jail and a mother in the funeral parlor. Oh. Come on. You know, Janine drinks. She's depressed. Depressed. Give me a break. She's drunk. Something happens, you automatically make them out to be saints. They had bad skin and wore too much makeup. I mean, they didn't look very good. They look beat up. And the stuff they wore was thrown together and cheap. A lot of pantsuits and double knits. She don't eat no more. She don't eat. That's true. She doesn't wake up in the morning. She spends her life in a nightgown. The woman is no angel, believe me. And they talked about how rotten their kids were and about beating them with broom handles and leather belts. But then that the kids still didn't pay attention. When Henry picked me up, I was dizzy.